Today we're gonna look at the top three mowers. If you've been following the channel, you saw that I've been having mowers mow my grass for the whole summer. It's been great. Or has it? We're gonna find out. Uh, but right now we've got three contenders going. I brought back Matt from Midwest Turf Tech with his expert opinion on all things mowers. Yeah. Over in this corner, we have the Segway Navi Mow with the trimmer attachment. Over in this corner, the Sunseeker. This is the X7. We showed it previously, but here it is in action, used and abused. Check out that top. It's real world testing right there. And over here, the Alien, the Severkin Blix. The high cut, not to be confused with the regular one because that is an issue. Look at this little guy. It's got a little helmet, LiDAR, camera. It's wild. The other video we showed, what, eight mowers? Yep, yep. I feel like that was a bit overwhelming. And a lot of those mowers just didn't meet my quality standards. So we've narrowed it down to these three. And we're gonna debate. Let's start with cut quality. What are your thoughts? I would have to say the X7 cuts the best. Okay. Out of all, dual disc. It's got a floating, uh, floating mower deck, which helps out a ton. And I think they've optimized this mower just for cut quality. And you know, maybe uh, they need a little bit more work on the software side of things with these. But okay. Um, so, like right now, they're competing. We had to pause the Segway because it has a trimmer, and the trimmer is dangerous to operate while moving around. But this one is trying to cut a nice diagonal and we can see it's making a very nice pattern in my yard. Uh, the Segway had been mowing this yard for the past three months with no other intervention. So what you see is like the before. Now our friend the Severkin here was up in the front yard up until today. And now it wants to do a crisscross pattern, which is interesting because in the front yard it wanted to go this way. So I think I'm gonna agree with you that I like the cut quality of the Sunseeker the most, yeah. followed by the Severkin, yep. and then the Segway. Yep. Yep. And we'll give an honorable mention to the Luba, even though it's not here. I feel like with its all wheel drive, it does a good job of getting it nice and even. You know, people that are looking for cut quality, like perfect manicured lawn, um, the X7 is gonna be where it's at. Now, if you want experience, like a really good user experience, I would recommend the Segway, uh, the X3. With the Swerverkin Blix, this is gonna be your mower if you have any trees or anything in the yard or a fully tree covered yard. Uh, this is really gonna be the only mower that is gonna have a good cut quality. Oh dear, and, uh, oh dear. <laughs> We're battling it out, you see. <laughs> So Verkin Blix, it has a, uh, a nine or a 10 inch cutting disc on it. It has uh, six blades, so it, it actually, it does cut good. It just doesn't have the floating deck like the uh, Sunseeker. It knows we're talking about it. Yeah, I know. As far as setup goes, I would say that the Severkin was probably the easiest. Although you were the one setting up the Sunseeker, so yep. I'll let you weigh in on that. Uh, if you have the RTK, base station and the charge okay. station in a really good spot where there's a lot of sky view, a lot of horizon, uh, then you're really not gonna have much trouble setting it up. Um, there, yeah, it seems have... like you got it up and running in like 10 minutes. Yeah, so yeah. And um, we just like set it over here in the corner. I had a plug, that's where the Segway was. With the Segway, I actually had to move the RTK unit up higher. And so that's why it's taped to the railing and then for both of them, I like hiding the station under here because it's just kind of protected and I have an outlet under there for lighting. And so I figured to use that. I'm gonna say the Segway was the hardest. Yeah. With the Severkin, when it comes out of the box, you need to know if you have the high cut or the regular one because it doesn't say on the box and it's not anywhere in the instructions. And then you wanna do a firmware update right away. So if you do those two things, then I'd say the setup is easy. I just drove it around. Then it did some auto mapping and seems to be doing just fine. Again, yeah. probably a 10 minute setup process. So this one is not using RTK. So if we talk about navigation, we've got LiDAR, cameras, GPS on the top. Yep, it does have GPS, okay. just uh, it doesn't it rely doesn't on it. It doesn't require the RTK unit. Right. So there's right. not a separate post to yep. set up. So aesthetically, I think that's a plus too. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, yeah, and it comes with a garage. Yard. You know, with the Silverkin does. So. 
Yeah, you were saying that it requires the garage in order to figure out where yep. to map, which yep. is kind of interesting. Yep, it uses the LiDAR, you know, to map out where its home is to charge. And, you know, one really nice feature with the Swerkin, uh the Blix, actually all of their models, is that it will take a picture of where it had trouble. Uh, like, let's say it got stuck, you know, it, it will explain why it missed a spot even. Another robot, perhaps. Yes. So, Another, yeah. So there will be a picture those. of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when I was testing in the front yard, it had a lot of like neighbors walking by and gawking yep. the pictures of them, <laughs> which is kind of funny. It also would show where it was slipping. And uh, so there are uh, attachments you can put on the wheels. Uh, so then it avoids that kind of know where the problem areas are, which is slick. Yeah, w one of my favorite features with it is that it has FPV view and you can actually control it and drive it around. So let's say it did get stuck. You could back it out, you can see where you're at and you can be on the other side of the world and do this. Um, so you wouldn't need to have another person come here and move, you know, move the mower a couple inches just to get out of a spot that it got stuck in. Um, and then you can drive it around too and you know, use it as your security detail. <laughs> All right, so we've talked about the setup. We talked about the cut quality, how they navigate. Didn't mention that the Segway has a trimmer. So there is a trimmer attachment. I would say that it's mildly better than me doing it myself. It is kind of fun to just sit there and hold the button. You do need to hold the button though. So you have to be within Bluetooth range and be physically holding the button, you know, for safety and stuff because this, uh, is, it spins and that could be bad. So I, I get why you have to do that. I don't know that the trimming is the one issue with robot vac uh, mowers because as it goes, it kind of creeps in, you know, and you end up uh, needing to do a little bit more, more trim work just because the cutting discs aren't as far to the edge. Now these ones do have very wide cutting disc areas or dual discs in some cases. Some of the robot mowers on the market have these tiny little discs and you've got like six inches on either side that's never gonna be able to get cut. And so you definitely get what you pay for. And I think having good navigation, good cut quality and a large enough battery to, to cover the size of yard you have uh, are really important when selecting a robot mower. Otherwise you're just gonna get frustrated and end up returning it. Yeah. The return rates on these things on Amazon are quite high, unfortunately. Um, you know, that's why uh, you can contact us, uh, midwestturftech.com. We try to support everybody, you know, that purchases through us. Um, that's one thing Amazon kind of lacks is the support. You know, even if you got a question, you know, about your mower, you need to buy it from us, just shoot us an email. Definitely try to help out. So. And you ship nationwide? Yep, yep, we ship nationwide. Um, what about Canada? I, nope. I, Germany, there's people. Really? <laughs> uh, All right, so top three then. Let's see. I'll let you go first and then we'll debate. I am a lawn care nut, so I will handle some of the flaws of like the Sunseeker X7 with the software. I would say the Sunseeker X7 would be my pick uh, for best mower. The Segway, you're going to have the best user experience with the software, firmware updates. The app is phenomenal uh, compared to all of them. Uh, the Blix, you got support you know, just a phone call away. I really think that's going to be the up and coming brand is the Silverk and Blix. Um, I know they got an all wheel drive version of this coming out. They also and make there's... commercial mowers. Yes. So you have yep. a client that has a golf course. Yes. Uh, we'll try to get a video of that another day. So Silverk and Thor, that is a, it's a, it's a big machine and you know, it's meant for, you know, a sports complex golf courses and um, you know, big big yards i don't think you can go wrong with any of these three but since we did say it's the top three i will give you my opinion in the ranking uh, i'm going to put the segue at number three just because it's struggling to get around the garden beds and close to the fence line i feel like i have a pretty challenging backyard but the software is great i like that there is the trimmer attachment though truthfully you know having to hold the button be physically out here I might as well just pick up the trimmer and do it myself. Uh, but I like that they're trying to, you know, solve for known issues. And in the future, maybe I'll test that versus the Yarbo trimmer. I still have the Yarbo guys. It's just, it's overkill. And, you know, select situations, I think it's it's a good option. But for most people, I think it's going to be a lot of money and way more than you need. Uh, so my number two is my good pal here, the Severkin. You're doing a great job, little buddy. 
<laughs> uh, easy to set up. I love that I didn't have to dick around with an RTK station. Uh, it just uses LiDAR. The pictures it sends are fun to see like, oh, there's an overgrown bush there. I should probably deal with that. It does have a little bit of struggles. It doesn't have that all wheel drive. And so for that reason, I got to throw it over to the Sunseeker. Uh, it's just got that really nice cut quality, the floating deck, like Matt said, easy to deploy, all around great unit. So guys, I hope you found this video valuable. We're going to test some more in the springtime. It's almost winter here in Minnesota, so it might be a wrap on mower videos, but be sure to subscribe. We have other great content coming. And if you're in the market for a mower, check out Midwest Turf Tech. We really appreciate their support of the channel and helping us procure these mowers for testing and your viewing pleasure. Until next time, take care.